Hello everybody, today is Vlogmas Day 3 and I thought that you might like to join me and see what I've been doing today. The nights are getting chillier now, so I have put on our thicker blanket. This was the first big project that I made when I learned to crochet. It has seen us through quite a few winters now and it is not looking its best anymore. But it serves its purpose, it keeps us warm and although it is a simple design, it still brings me great joy seeing it every winter. Now I'm watering some of my plants. I have a rather large plant collection. There's probably 200 plus plants in our house and I love them dearly, caring for them each day. I have an app that I use called Blossom that reminds me of which ones need watering or checking and when. These are my girls, Mia, Shiloh, River and Maisie, and I love them dearly as I love all of our animals. Every day I take them out for a run. Some days I am really not feeling up to it, either mentally or physically, but when I'm out with them I just feel so happy just watching them run and play. Although I am more of a tea drinker these days, I do enjoy and thoroughly appreciate a good coffee on occasion, especially when it's been a long, cold day. And after walking the girls this morning, that's exactly what I decided to do. This coffee smells divine and just watching the colours melt into each other as I stir the cup is just mesmerising. I like to incorporate magic into my everyday life. Just minute things that some people might not think were important or even notice that I do. And one thing is that every day I pull an oracle card. Well these days it's actually two. The first set I'm using is one that came with a subscription box. It was Witch Casket this year. And this simple set just spoke to me the day that it arrived and I've used it every day since. I always pull one card from it. Then, the other set that I use is one I've had a little while now, probably two or three years. It spoke to me again as soon as it arrived. Some sets just do that. I can't really explain it. Some you just don't gel with and others you do. The Green Witch Oracle cards are ones that I just adore. I use them for Sabbath spreads. I use them every day. And I will pull a card every day, forever, I think. <laughs> it's been something that's been in my routine now. And I don't think we'll ever leave. I am setting my fruit now to soak ready to make a Christmas cake. I'm just zesting some clementines ready to put in. I am adding 200 grams of mixed raisins and cranberries. Next, I added 375 grams of Glacier cherry halves. Now I am adding 500 grams of currants. The next ingredient is 200 grams of currants. Add the zest of your clementines or oranges. Personally I only use a little because I'm not keen, but you may use more if you want to. The last ingredient for now is 150 ml of either brandy or sherry. Then stir to incorporate the brandy and mix everything evenly together. Usually this would be started a lot sooner than now. Usually even in October at the beginning of November at the latest. But life happens, things get in the way. But the main thing is that I'm doing it now even if it is 
the 3rd of December. But this is a tradition now that I have done for quite a few years and I didn't want to miss it because I know that my family really adore this cake. So we are doing it now and I will start cooking it so that we can feed it ready in time for Christmas. I'm going to take you along for this journey and I hope that you enjoy seeing this cake come together over several films during Vlogmas. Then into the fridge, ready for baking the cake in a few days. And today we have our advent calendar as always. This is a Scentsy advent calendar if you did not know. I hope you're enjoying this calendar as much as me. Today we had another wax melt. Maybe tomorrow there'll be something different. But right now I'm quite happy because this is fairy tale pumpkin scent and is one that I've really enjoyed in the past. In fact I've bought whole bars of this scent because it really does remind me of Halloween. So to that effect, is this really Creepmas? I hope so. And here it is, melting in a warmer I've had for many years now. It is a simple yet beautiful design and the scent coming from this melt is just divine. You may not think of pumpkins and Christmas as being associated to one another, but regardless of how you feel about it, you can't deny that the smell is beautiful. I hope that you have enjoyed this new and unusual way for me really to do a vlog. It's been nice and challenging doing something different and I hope that no matter what you've been doing today you've truly had a wonderful third day of December. Until tomorrow everyone, brightest blessings, goodbye.